All right, welcome back everyone. Uh, I've got a little midweek menagerie here. And uh, I was looking at Rat Rob Bob Bills the other day and he pulled out this uh, Vivor uh, endoscope, uh, model ZX2-D. The cool thing about it, the party piece for this little guy is that right there. I saw that and I'm like, sold. Sure enough, I thought to myself, man, I sure would like to take a look at my valves without having to take the heads off of this old Cadillac 472. And that's what we're going to do here. So you're not going to see a whole lot of video of me doing stuff. Uh, what I'm going to do is record video with this Vivor and um, we're going to get it down into these cylinder bores. I'm going to take a look at our pistons, piston walls, and uh, valves, hopefully. I've already pulled the plugs out on this side, and I think up next I'm going to go ahead and simply uh, inspect each one and see what we get. So here we go. I'll, what I'll do in the editing process, I'll, uh, I'll switch over to the, um, the video on the, uh, on the Vivor here. Quick instructional thing here. you got buttons on the top of this thing, on and off. And then uh, let's see, you got some buttons here. You can take a picture with that one and you use that one to change the brightness of the LED on the light on the camera. That's the camera and the light there. That button there takes you to your image gallery, plus and minus navigates through the menus, settings button, and then there's your picture or uh, video button right there. It's pretty simple to use really. And if you can't figure it out, read the book. So uh, anyway, here we go. This is number two. There's the power steering pump. So I've <laughs> definitely, that's for my own editing purposes later on. So I know where I'm at. Anyway, so right here, top of the piston, number two. And uh, we'll use this little head here to kind of move around. Not sure what the white granular stuff is there. See, it's kind of flaky. And at first I thought these cylinder walls were rusted, but they're just shiny and they're showing you the reflection of what's on the piston. So anyway, I don't think that's a big, big deal. Let's uh, go down near the piston and twirl this thing around. And there's a hole right there in the middle of it. It's not a hole, it's a depression of some sort. Clearly I'm not an engine guy. So uh, we're flipping back around. I'm gonna take a look at the valves here. So if I move this downward near the piston as I rotate it back around, there we go. See, now we can see the uh, hole, the spark plug hole. And we can twirl around here and see our valves. That one's slightly open. I don't see anything that's abnormal there in my untrained eye. We twirl this thing around and get over to the other valve. Of course, I don't, I'm not the Cadillac head expert here. What I'm looking for is burnt valves and recessed valves. Um, of course, I don't know what the valve seats on these Cadillac engines are supposed to look like, so it would help if I had done some research beforehand. That looks kind of nasty there, doesn't it? I'm not sure if that depression there is, a, is, a, is a, an appearance of a recessed valve. It's probably just the nature of the way the engine is designed. I don't see anything glaring here to me, in my opinion, and I probably won't notice anything uh, until, in, until, uh, until post-production. There we go. Anyway, spending a lot of time on number two here. So that's an interesting image there, isn't it? All right, we're going down into uh, Number four here, second one back on the passenger side. That one's quite a bit farther down in the bore. This should be easier. And same, same appearance on the top of the piston there. We'll go down there, take a look at that guy. I'm assuming that those deposits are normal. You guys tell me otherwise, okay? Let me flip back around here. Look at that, you see that cross hatch on the, uh, on the, on the uh, cylinder wall? That's pretty cool. So if we can flip around here and look at these cylinder walls. 
pretty shiny. You can see a cross hatch there. So let's flip back around and look at the valves. That one's, all right, there's a spark plug hole. That valve there is, uh, let's pull up, take a look at that valve there. Not sure. Boy, that one's plum white, isn't it? Look at that. I see a lot of white deposits. And I got the plugs out, and for each video, I think before each video, I'll show what the spark plug looks like before I go down into each bore. I think that might be interesting. We'll do that. And... Uh, Man, look at all the white deposits there. That is interesting. This, this car does not, this engine does not burn coolant. It doesn't lose coolant at all or anything like that. So I don't know what the, I don't know why they're white. I, you know, I'm just, like I said, I'm not an engine guy, not really. I'm assuming it's simply a product of the combustion process and the temperatures that are involved. All right, so this is be number six here. And let's turn the camera on. There we go. See if we can look, look at the uh, cylinder walls. And I'm looking for, uh, you know, I'm assuming that's kind of just dust or debris or something and not pitting of any kind. Hmm, does this cylinder look a little doesn't look as good, does it? Doesn't look as good. Can't tell. You see this right here? This is that is that discoloration? I see a lot of up and down here. A lot of up and down. I don't see any cross hatch on this one. Well, you know, maybe I'm being overly particular, but that's interesting. Move down a little closer here and see what we can see. Let's turn the um, brightness down. That's off. <laughs> That's wide open. That's low. It's shiny because we got a... Um, well, anyway, let's look at the valve. Now, that's interesting. Now, I just tried to crank the engine over to move it, so it probably shot a little gasoline down in there. That's probably what that spot was on the other valve that I noticed earlier. Gasoline leaking down. That valve there is white. Hello, can we see up in there? Ooh, look at that, that's pretty cool. All right. Oh, there, that's a good shot. I'll leave it there for a minute. There's your valve stem. A little rusty. What do you guys think about that? Going up into that valve stem seal there. Hmm? What do you guys think about that? That looks interesting. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's pretty cool, actually. So I want some comments down below. You guys tell me what you think about all this. Look at that valve, that, uh, valve there. and Let's see. Whoop, there we go. Don't want to get stuck in there. This uh, number six cylinder wall, I don't know. It doesn't look as good as the others, does it? I got a lot of up and down marks there, you know? You reckon this cylinder is a little tired? Maybe I need to redo my compression check. 
interesting. That's very interesting. All right, that's four minutes on this one cylinder. So let me uh, let's uh, pull out and uh, go to the other side of the engine. All right, we're going to go down to eight. That one's down in there nicely so we can see what's going on. Just move around a little bit, typical deposits. Let's take a look at our, get a little further down in there, if we can. We can see the cross hatch there on that side of the bore. Yeah, I'm a little too close there to see on that side. Let's move back around and take a look at our valves. There's our spark plug hole. Let's see, that one's, this one over here is um, a little open. I don't see anything in my idiotic, untrained eye that stands out in my mind. That one's closed up. All right, right at uh, number one, move down here. See some, uh, f looks like it's fresh, dark stuff there. Not sure what's going on there. Interesting, that's shiny and black. What's going on with that? Carbon, nice carbon deposits there. Let's see if we can take a look at our valves. And uh, let's see, come on. Oh, there we go. There's a nice open one in it. Look at all that white deposits on that valve stem right there. Man, that's crazy. I'm gonna do some research on that, find out what the significance is that since I'm not an engine guy. Probably nothing, but what do I know? And uh, man, that, that valve, it's just stone white, boy. That's just crazy. Anyway, that's number one. All right, we're going to go down into uh, three here. See what's going on. I see some cross hatch there. That looks good. I see the uh, the see the dark and then the light and the dark. I don't know the significance of that. I mean, it may be just a trick of the light. Maybe wear. I don't know. All right, these are uh, valves on number uh, three. A little bit of gasoline there where I turned the motor over. Both of these are closed. I don't really see anything out of the ordinary that's striking. You can see the lettering on that valve. That one's a little bit open there, isn't it? We're going down into number five. Hopefully we don't have to move the engine again. Ah, good, it's down in there. Nice and far, so. Cross hatch on the cylinder walls. And I suppose it shouldn't, I mean, if, just because you can't see a cross hatch on the cylinder walls with this camera, I don't, doesn't mean there isn't one there, you know. There's no substitute for real eyeballs, I guess. And, uh, it, you know, you keep thinking, oh, that uh, cylinder wall is rusty, but that's a reflection. It's shiny. <laughs> uh, reflection from the piston. 
Interesting. All right, so let's uh, see if we can get this. There we go. Now, that intake there has a some gasoline around it. I, yeah, I have the coil, object, coil wire disconnected so it wouldn't fire when I was moving the engine. And again, we have the typical, uh, that white uh, crusty stuff all over the exhaust. Yeah. I'm in my own way. I was looking for recessed valves and like, you know, chips in them and stuff like that, you know. It's a little tricky to orientate this uh, camera, that's for sure. Twirl the camera with one hand and twirl the little wheel with the other. And hold your mouth just right and as long as you know left from right, you'll be all right. There we go. I'm not in my own way again now. There we go. Wanted to try to get a closer look at that. All right, we're down in seven here. Twirl around a little bit. And uh, see if we can discern any crosshatch or whatever. Maybe a little bit there. Turn around here and take a look at the valves. Little fuel there from the last crank over. Not really see anything out of the ordinary. Looks the same as all the rest of them. Well, I had to break out the old uh, lumberjack coat here uh, for this video. Uh, had a little bit of a cold snap here in Alabama. So uh, that's all for this video, folks. I just wanted to break out the Vivor, Viver, Viva? I don't know how you pronounce it. Uh, undiscopic camera. It's not undiscopic, though, is it? Uh, laparoscopic? Or is it undiscopic? I don't know. It's a borescope. I was just dying to take a look at the valves and the cylinder walls on this engine. And uh, I guess I'll need to go edit the video and just really kind of soak it all in before we can come up with a conclusion. If we can come up with a conclusion at all, really. Uh, but, however, I would like for each of you to leave a comment down below and let us, everyone know what you think about uh, what you saw. If you have any comments and questions about the state of the valves and the cylinders, by all means, put them in the comment section and let's, and let's talk about them. All right, folks, that's all for now. I appreciate you guys stopping by the channel. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you'd like to be notified whenever I release a new video, don't forget to click that little bell down below. You guys have a good one, and remember to enjoy taking care of your classic Cadillac.